Okay, here we're today, November 18th, 2016. It's about 10 a.m. And I have a push pole here with a TV yoke. On the TV yoke, I have it clockwise, about 10 turns, counterclockwise, 10 turns, and the center point. That's for this push pole. Underneath, I have some 26 gauge magnet wire, bifiler wound all the way across. On the other side I have 20 turns of this number 10 gauge all the way across and I have about 100 turns of the 26 gauge all the way across. When I fired it up, this is a 60 watt lamp. I'm always using 12 volts and you see we get to about uh, it's 20 watts. If I pull it away we lose some uh, resonance here so if I cup it up tightly together we get more resonance or more field induction here flux activity. Now there isn't much power in, in these here so you know it dims it when I touch these same with this one if it'll just dim it a little bit there's probably enough power in here to run some LEDs though. So this is just a push pull with a TVO core at 12 volts with certain gauge wire and so many winds and wraps. I would say if there were less winds on the push pull side and the frequency would pick up it may brighten the bulb some more. But you have a little excess energy on the other side of the TV core the yoke. See as I and then you'd have energy from here that's running the lamp right now. So and that's it for this one. This is a, a 12 volt system and I'm always using 12 volts. If I'm not I'm using 120 volt mains. But I'm gonna stay with the 20 uh, 12 volt DC systems. The frequency of this runs at approximately It was 55 kilohertz. It's going up still. Well, it's 29 kilohertz right now. But I had it reading 55 kilohertz. So the higher the frequency, it's possible that you might get more power out of it. But then it's going to take more power to get the higher frequency going there, more current. So I want to stop it here.